Hey everyone, this is Natasha. I'm a creator, designer and tutor at My Creative Butterfly. I've been crocheting for over 20 years now. I design crochet patterns from beginner till advanced levels. I also take online and offline crochet classes. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram under the handle My Creative Butterfly. Also, you can check out the website www.mycreativebutterfly.com to see more of my work. In today's video, I'll show you how to make this crocheted mini organizing basket. To start, let me quickly take you through the materials that you'll need for this. For this, I'll be using 100% cotton t-shirt yarn. With that, we'll have a crochet hook of 9mm, that is a size N hook. You'll need a pair of sharp scissors. A tapestry needle with eye big enough uh, to thread the t-shirt yarn through because it will be used to weave in the ends with that you will also need a stitch marker stitch marker is absolutely optional if you want you can have it otherwise you can use a safety pin or anything that is available handy at home you can also make your own t-shirt yarn if you want to learn how to do that i have provided a link in the description that gives you a step-by-step -step photo tutorial on how to do that if you want to make it on your own please click on the link and download it for free let us start making we'll start making the basket with a magic ring so wrap the yarn two times around your fingers like this insert the hook from under the first loop yarn over and pull the second loop through Again take a yarn over and pull through. This is a slip stitch. Now make one, two, cha three chains, sorry, three chains. This will be counted as your first double crochet. Now make 11 double crochets in the magic ring. So 11 double crochets plus the first chain three that you made, it will make a total of 12 double crochets. Let's count once to see if we have a total of 12. Yes, we no, we are falling short of one. We'll make one more. That is a total of 12 single, double crochets. Now we'll make a slip stitch in the third chain. The first three chains that we made out of that, the third chain will make a slip stitch. This completes our round one. Now just pull the starting end of yarn tightly to close the magic ring. Pull it tightly so that there is no gap at, at the center. The second round again will begin with three chains, three and make a double crochet in the same place. Now we'll do an increase in every stitch that is we'll make two double crochets in every double crochet of the previous round. So we had 12 double crochets in round one so here we'll have 24 double crochets. Keep making double crochets, two double crochets in each stitch. So, oops. You can pause the video here and repeat the same pattern for the entire round. Now we are done. We have 24 double crochets. Now again, we'll end the round with a slip stitch in the third chain in the first three chains that we made. This completes our round two. For the third round, again we'll start with a chain three. We'll make a double crochet in the next stitch, not in the same place, but in the next stitch. We'll make two in this. Then we'll make one double crochet in the next stitch then two in the next one so in this round we are going to be increasing in every alternate stitch that is we'll be making one double crochet in one stitch and two in the next one keep repeating that pattern for the entire round so in the last row we had 24 double crochets so in this one you'll have a total of 36 double crochets you can pause the video here and complete the entire round with the same pattern 
once done again we'll finish this round with a slip stitch in the third chain of the first three chains that we made this is round three with this we are done with the base now we'll start with the uh, edges of the basket for the edge we'll be working only in the back loops just see where i insert the hook will not be working in the front loop will be working only in the back loop so make a slip stitch and a chain one then we'll start with single crochets keep making single crochets in the back loops only we had a total of 36 double crochets in round 3 so here you'll have 36 single crochets keep making single crochets in the back loop one single crochet in each stitch because by now we need to make a vertical wall for the basket so we'll not be doing any increases repeat the same pattern single crochet around the entire uh, round 3 so with this we complete round 4 and once we come to the end make a slip stitch in the back loop only of the first single crochet that we made in this round now the next round again will be same make one chain then in the back loop make one single crochet keep making single crochets in the back loop of the entire round here if you want you can place a slip uh, stitch marker sorry if you want to keep a track of the rounds but actually since we are making a chain one so it makes it easier to identify but if you are new to crochet and if you get confused where your row started place a stitch marker repeat that for the entire row once you are done with the entire round again we'll end the round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we made in this round the last round will be slip stitches so we'll just make one slip stitch in the back loop of each single crochet just repeat that for the entire round that will make the wall more sturdy and it will roll it slightly inwards so that the basket keeps its shape keep doing that make sure you don't do it too tight otherwise the basket would be distorted make sure that you keep a slightly loose tension and keep making slip stitches in each of the stitch around repeat it for the entire round once you reach the end just insert the hook in both the loops of the first slip stitch and we'll just cut off the thread and secure the end make sure that you pass it through both so that the end is slightly neat now just thread both the ends in the tapestry needle and weave it through the stitches and then cut it close make sure that you weave it in nicely so that it does not pop out when you are using the basket Now cut it off close to the work repeat the same thing with the other end also pass it multiple number of times through the stitches and again just cut it close to the work
that's it you are done with the basket just uh, shape it slightly if required if it is distorted in some uh, any, at any place here is another sample of a basket made with a t-shirt yarn i have a tutorial of this on my skillshare account if you want to learn it for free you can uh, click on the link that i have provided in the description it is free for a month you can easily subscribe and learn it for a month you don't need to pay anything it is free you can you'll get access to my this class plus i have two or three more of the classes as well as you'll get access to thousands of other classes and courses that many of the artists provide there so please explore that if you want the link is in the description happy crocheting and thank you for watching please do subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet